is it's underfunded to begin with. Right out of the gate, there's $167 million for the infrastructure that hasn't been appropriated. Um, based upon the numbers, um, we could end up with just a line from New Haven to Hartford. Um, the next thing is that this would not be self-sustaining. Um, if we're going to build this, if there's a need for it, it should be able to pay for itself. Otherwise, there isn't a need for it. Every year, Amtrak loses hundreds of billions of dollars. It subsidizes the program. And if we go down the road and we keep on subsidizing this program, it's just running at a loss. Um, parking is a problem. A parking garage in our town is a problem. Um, I mean, do you draw any consolation from the fact that they're considering this proposal now for Judd Square? I haven't had time to analyze the Judd Square thing totally. It seems like there's a lot of opposition in the room to the Judd Square, especially when we add uh, buses as a component, uh, the transit buses, which we heard tonight, they don't even know if they're going to appropriate money for. Currently, we pay, the town of Wallingford pays $70,000 for the opportunity to have a transit bus in our town. Um, God only knows what the, the state would charge us for bus service if they were to extend it to this. We're one of the only municipalities that pays the state of Connecticut for the bus service. I think it's Waterbury runs at an $8 million loss every year, and they don't pay a dollar to the state of Connecticut for their bus service. That's a whole other question that hasn't even been addressed here. You mentioned the uh, concept of subsidies. Isn't there a lot in government, like senior centers and other um, departments that run on subsidies, though? Well, sir, there's certainly things that do run on subsidies now, but when you engage in a new activity, I think you have to analyze the, the need for that activity and whether or not it could pay for itself. We, had a, we heard a young lady in there talking about that she would like to see the fares reduced. Well, the only way the fares get reduced is if the taxpayers more supplement this program. What if there's in increased ridership? I mean, there's there's arguments that more people taking the bus, uh, the train and using mass transit is going to eventually lower the prices, even though there may be some outlay at the beginning. Well, if that's, if that's the case, then that might, that might be a benefit, if it could pay for itself. If somebody looks at the ticket and says it would cost me more to use gasoline, and therefore mm -hmm. I'm going to use the train, mm -hmm. and there's a there's a benefit financially. Uh, you know, we don't. We shouldn't build trains just to build trains. We should build trains because a we need them and because they're self-sustaining. One of the things that's in the program is it says um, it's going to add thirteen thousand jobs. Um, I, I'm of the position that we don't um, we don't build railroads or we don't build roads to make jobs. We build railroads or we build roads to connect two points that need to be joined together. So. Okay, thank you. Thank you.